Hi, so this is another um, video for how we can present our learning in an engaging and creative way. And today we're going to be focusing on text. And in the second video, then we're going to talk about how we can actually design our space to look a little bit more interesting. And we're looking at function still. How does CoSpaces work? We're learning new things, that's called the acquisition of knowledge. And we're going to apply prior knowledge. So the things that we've learned in the previous videos, we're going to apply today. And this is the process for adding text. So we're going to go down to our building blocks and we're going to drag out a text box. It could be with a panel or just text. Add our text and then attach it. It's as simple as that. And these are some of the sentence starters that we can use. And we're going to be talking about our learning. So I've used, I've created, I feel, I'm proud, the challenge was, or you can come up with your own. That's fine. Let's go over to CoSpaces now. So I've uh, searched for CoSpaces. I'm going to click login. Ask me to sign in with Google. I've already signed into my Google account. Choose the account. And I've signed into CoSpaces with the account that we've already created. Now let's go over to classes. And this is the assignment that we're working on with our partner. And let's have a look at it. What do you think? Are you happy with what you've done so far? You should have at least one piece of learning each in here. Some of you have done an amazing job. I've seen galleons, I've seen underwater worlds, I've seen um, presentations on the moon. You've been really creative. So let's add some text to tell our audience what the pieces of learning are. Let's go over to the building blocks and let's drag out a text box. And you can have one with a panel or just the text. I would recommend just having the text. So now we've got the text box out and you're familiar with this. We're going to double click on it, click on text. And here, using those sentence starters I spoke about before, we're going to write three or four sentences explaining what the piece of learning is about. Remember, this is for our audience, so that they understand how you've made it, some of the challenges that you've gone through, what you feel proud about. You want to make it interesting. Tell them something that they wouldn't know just by looking at the piece of learning. I've then double clicked on the text box, clicked attach, and it's going to attach it in the middle of the wall. But that's fine. We can just move it left or right. And then I'd like you to press play and have a look at it. Does the text stand out? Can you read it clearly? Maybe take a couple of steps back. To me, that looks a little bit small. So I'm going to double click on the text, text, and then I'm going to increase the font size a little bit. And you can see there it's getting larger and larger. Once you've got the correct font size, think about the colors. Last week we spoke about contrast. So you want light colors on a dark background or vice versa. Here, that doesn't stand out very well because I've got a light uh, text on a light background. So I'm going to change it. Maybe instead of black, I might choose dark blue. I think that works quite well. And if I uh, took a few steps back, I'd be able to see that really easily. Be aware now that your image and your text is attached to the wall. So if you want to resize it, everything is going to get larger. And if you resize one wall, then you're going to have to resize your other walls. So I would recommend not resizing things once you've attached things. Once things are attached, leave things as they are. Otherwise, like I'm having to do here, you're going to have to spend a lot of time rearranging everything else and making sure that all the walls meet. Now we've got that, I think it'd be nice if we could add some headings or some signposts. So when people are walking around our gallery, from far away they can see what is what. So here I'm going to pull out some 3D text and I'm going to create a big headline or heading saying what this is. So this was collage, so I could just write collage, write that in there, and then attach it to the top. And we're, we're going to have it as a heading. You don't have to have it at the top. You might have it on the side. You could even put it on the floor if you like, but make sure it is visible. Again, using contrast and making sure that your font size is big enough to see from a long way away. Now, once you've done that, You've got to admire your work, press play, see what it looks like. This is what your audience is going to see. Take a few steps back, I think that looks great. Now we are going to repeat the process. So uh, last week you were set a lot of creative challenges. So if you could take a picture of a creative challenge, upload it here and we're going to add text and you've also got the option of adding a heading. 
So I've gone into super speedy mode here because you've already seen this process before. Here I am uploading the images. I've actually got two images here and I'm going to attach them to the wall. But look what happens. So I attach them and we're going to resize them. Make sure that all your um, pieces of learning are relatively the same size. If I put it on a big wall and I resize them, I'm going to run out of space. So for each wall, make sure you've got a piece of learning, then you're going to add text, use the sentence starters that I showed you before. If you want to create your own sentences, that's fine, but these are here to prompt you. You can pause the video now if you want to read these sentence starters, and then you can start typing in. It took me a few goes. I had to write my sentences, go back, reread them, readjust them. So proofread them and make sure that you've really told your audience something interesting about the artwork. Then we've attached it, we've resized it, and I'm going to put a heading along the top. And I might have a heading for more than one piece of work. So here, I'm going to put creative challenge along the top. And every week when I do a creative challenge, I'm going to put it in this section of my gallery. I think that'd be great. And if my audience want to see what I've been doing for my creative challenge, they know to come to this corner. And I've run out of space. So I'm just going to do control C, control V. I don't need these pieces of learning, I don't need another heading, but I'd like that wall and I'd like the same size, so I've copied it. Now I'm going to upload new piece of learning and add a text box. And as you're adding more, make sure that you press on the play button and see what it's going to look like from your audience's perspective. Because if something doesn't stand out or there's not very much contrast between the text and the wall, then it's not going to be very easy for your audience to see. Bear that in mind, please. So it's over to you. Using these sentence starters, or some of your own, I'd like you to label your learning. So this is your checklist. Add some text. Attach it to the wall. Change the text color. Remembering contrast, please. Upload an image, and then repeat the same with a creative challenge from last week. And if you want to be super duper brilliant, you can add a heading as well.